Hello, I'd like to welcome you to BAIS 220, uh, Management of Information Technology. Um, so my name is Mark Senna, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the class. Um, we'll go over the syllabus and um, also kind of walk you through what to expect and how to use the class in, in Canvas. Um, and then finally, I'd like to take a moment to introduce myself to you. Um, so let's begin by going through the syllabus. So as I mentioned, my name is Mark Senna. I do have an office up in Smith Hall 203. I tend to be here um, in the summer, maybe a little bit less, but generally a few days a week I'm in the office working on things. Um, I'd be glad to meet you in person at any time, either just to say hello or to um, give you some help with any um, issues you're having in the class. Um, the best way to get a hold of me is via email. As you can see, my email address is sena at xavier.edu. Um, everything we do in the class is going to be through the Canvas homepage. And I hope that I have it set up in a pretty intuitive way. Um, this is my third time teaching the class online. And I think that um, most students don't have any problems with the uh, way the class is laid out in terms of understanding the requirements. Um, if you if we ever need to meet um, for any sort of detailed interaction, I have a Google Hangouts link that um, I have linked from the home page for each uh, module of the class. So um, if you'd like to meet with me, and it is really an excellent way to resolve any problems that you might be having, um, what you would do is first email me and Tell me that you'd like to meet with me and then um, offer me a few times and then I'll reply and let you know when I'm available. And the Google Hangouts is a lot like FaceTime or Skype. Um, we can see each other through the camera, but mainly we're, um, I'll be opening a file, either in Excel or Access, to um, work through whatever issues you're having. Uh, I've also included my phone number if you want to text me or if we need to... Um, talk by the telephone. Um, that's usually not the first route, but um, it's available to you if you need to. Um, we don't have any textbooks in the class. Um, I've listed a few online textbooks. These are, are links that um, go through Xavier's library. So if you're off campus, you might need to log in to get access to them. But I'm not going to be assigning any particular content directly from these books. They're really just for backup and reference if you're having um, some troubles with anything in class. These are kind of additional resources that you might have. Um, the content we cover in class is also kind of widely covered um, in various websites, so if you Google something, uh, that's another option. Um, the class prerequisite is BAIS 120, so if you haven't had that class, um, you might have some trouble because I do assume, um, especially for Excel, that you've had some uh, introduction to how to navigate um, Excel, how to enter formulas and functions and certain other things. And I also assume you have basic Windows skills, you know how to save a file, um, open files and so on. Um, I'll let you read the class objectives on your own, but in general in this class we're going to be covering Excel, um, a database tool called Access. We're going to use a computer programming tool that comes embedded in Excel called VBA. And then uh, we're also going to use a um, Google Forms, which is a, um, an online survey tool for our final project. Um, you'll see that uh, in the class we have three due dates, July 14th, July 28th, and August 11th. Um, modules 1 and 2 will be due on the first date and so on. All these dates are listed both on the assignment um, tabs for each, each detailed assignment and, for, um, and on the home page of the class. Um, please do your own work in the class. You're welcome to help each other with... Um, the assignments or the tutorials, but um, everything you turn in should be your own, especially on the exams. I'll be searching to make sure that you have um, none of your work was copied from another um, file. 
So in the class, I, in the grade book, you'll see the weight of each assignment. Um, in general, there's an even split between the assignments and the skills test. And then the final project is worth 10 points. And then um, the tutorials, and we'll have discussion forums on ethical topics. Those will each be worth 5%. And you can see I use kind of a standard plus minus uh, grading scale. I tend to stick to the the range pretty closely. Occasionally I'll round up a few percentages of a point, but um, I stick to this fairly closely. Um, let me pull up the course homepage. Um, I have an introductory message that also provides a little bit of details about um, getting access to a free copy of of Office if you um, need to upgrade your, your um, Windows. We do use the full version of Excel and Access as opposed to the online version. Um, you also need a Google account if you've ever had a um, Gmail or anything that you, you already have a Google account. If not, you can pretty easily sign up for one. Um, a lot of students that you're welcome to use a Mac for Excel, but there is no Mac version of Access, so um, you either have to borrow a computer for that, um, use someone. Uh, you can either use a friend's computer, or um, there is an online version that I don't think is real um, fast. It's a little bit of clumsy, um, but it can work if you need it to. Um, as you can see, the class is broken into six modules, one for each week for a summer term. Um, however, I only have due dates every other week. So the both the content for module one and module two are both due on July 14th, um, just before midnight. Um, in order to take the class, you'll click on the tutorial. And you'll see I have a number of embedded YouTube videos. Um, I also have files that you'll download that accompany the, the videos. Um, it's pretty um, self-explanatory what you can do, what you need to do. I will say that if you have two, if you have access to a computer that has two monitors, it's very useful to be able to watch the video on one screen and do your Excel or access work in the other screen. Um, your phone probably won't be the best um, just because the the text will be so small on your phone it probably wouldn't work out very well um, to view the video on on your phone um, if you have a, a tablet it might be clear enough um, when you're watching the videos you want to um, put the video quality in HD so it, you can view it as clear as possible um, while, for the streaming video. So after you complete a tutorial, um, you do get credit for um, for following along with the tutorial. So the first, like in module one, the first two links here, you would um, turn in your saved file. And then each week we have an ethics discussion. So in the ethics discussion, I have um, a link to some content and then some questions for you to add, for you to respond to. Um, I hope that I, I'd like to make the discussions as much as possible be a conversation where um, you read what other people have um, posted. But in general, the requirement is just for you to post it one response with at least a few sentences. It can either be like an initial response to um, the questions posed or a response to something that um, someone else has, has posted previously. Um, each week we have an assignment and then some weeks we also have a test. Now for the test, the um, the tests are similar to the assignments and follow along closely with the um, the tutorials, um, so it shouldn't be anything totally surprising. But they are timed, so you have one hour to complete the um, test, and um, 
they will require you to attach a, a, um, a file, either Access or Excel, to the test. And after 60 minutes, they automatically submit. So if you do forget to, or um, somehow you lose track of time and you don't submit in time, you won't be able to submit your file um, via the via the quiz tool, but um, you can still email me the attachment. It happens all the time, so don't panic and or think that you're going to get a zero if you don't don't um, submit before the deadline. But you will need to email me, and I'll be looking to make sure you haven't um, exceeded the time by more than you know a few minutes or so. So hopefully all this is fairly self-explanatory. So each week you have a couple of tutorials um, or tutorial videos. You have a discussion, an assignment, and some weeks you have a test. Um, in Module 4 we're going to be covering um, VBA, which is a computer programming language. That's going to be the most difficult thing to, um, so make sure you allot enough time for that week in particular, and make sure that you don't um, wait to the very end of the week to begin your assignment and your test, because you might need my help, um, especially with the assignment, and you want to make sure you're prepared for the test so you don't um, kind of spin your reels trying to learn the material during the test. On the final week, you'll have a test, an assignment, and the final project, so again, make sure you allot enough time to uh, cover all that. Um, if you have any questions throughout the term, again, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help you, um, either by email or by um, the Google Hangouts. Um, if you have any uh, questions, again, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, I'm really here to help you, and I want to. Um, I found that students that do contact me um, tend to be pretty happy with the result and especially if we, if we uh, meet online you'd be surprised how effective it is. Um, so let me, uh, before I let you go here in the introductory video, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so here's a picture of me. My name is Mark Senna. I've been at Xavier for um, 19 years now. And uh, this little guy's name is Diego, and he was born two days ago. So he is my grandson. Um, so I'm. It's been quite a week. Um, he came two weeks early, but um, I'm, I was delighted to meet him. Um, he's coming home today. He's happy, healthy little boy. Um, so I also have a daughter, a son, and a stepson. Um, I'm been recently married to, this is my wife, Corey. Um, we've been married for almost two years now. Um, I also have two dogs and two cats. Kind of have, My wife had two, a dog and a cat, and I had a dog and a cat. This is my dog and cat, Phoebe and Dexter. Um, so I have kind of a blended pet household. Um, my hobbies include mostly basketball. I play basketball. Um, three to four days a week, and um, I go to all the Xavier games, also like other sports, baseball, football, um, I've been watching a lot of international soccer recently, um, I like to travel, we just got back from uh, visiting some friends in Colombia, South America, so that was quite an experience, but um, I have a, uh, on the homepage of Canvas, in the discussion board, I have an introductory link, um, introductory discussion, so um, please fill out um, your own information here. I'd like to learn, you know, what who we have in the class and where you're from and something interesting about you and a picture so I can kind of link uh, the um, names to the faces. But anyway, um, Thank you once again for registering for BAIS 220, and I look for. I hope you enjoy the class and find it um, somewhat entertaining given the content, but also um, I hope that you learn a lot and find the class valuable. So welcome once again, and I look forward to meeting with you online. Thank you.